Welcome back to our AFL Explained series. In this playlist, we'll break down key facets of the game, helping you transition from a casual footy fan to the resident expert of your friends or office. In this video, we look at some of the key structures for a loose man in defence. In order to gain an advantage in defence, many teams will implement a free player in their backline. The loose man can be generated in a variety of ways. The first option is to drop a member of the forward line to your back line, resulting in a 7-6-5 formation. In this arrangement, the loose man operates as the designated intercept player. Intercept players typically position themselves one kick behind a stoppage, hoping to immediately create a turnover if the opposition gains a clearance. This position requires incredible football intelligence to play effectively, as the intercept player must read the game unfolding in front of them and accordingly adjust their position. The loose man may opt to sip deep in the opposition defence, allowing them to effectively coordinate the team's defensive structure. Alternatively, if the opposition team has a dominant key forward, then the loose man might play particularly close to them, creating a two-on-one situation, where one defender engages contact or the loose man comes across the front or over the top. When teams play 7-6-5, it leaves the opposition with a decision to make about their loose man. They can either use an intercept player of their own, play an extra midfielder around the contest, or man up the other loose man by playing an extra forward. However, when the AFL introduced 6-6-6 starting positions for the 2019 season, teams were forced to adapt their systems. If teams do want to play 7 back, they can generate a spare but it takes longer. For example, a winger might wrap around to defence while a half forward pushes up to cover the wing. Or a defensive player could start forward and then proceed to run up to the centre circle when the ball is bounced, then proceed to the back line. Many teams however have adapted to using intercept players in a peeling off role instead. As an example, take a game between two teams such as Richmond, rated the league's best defence, and the Western Bulldogs, who possess many options in their forward line. Most likely, Asbury and Grimes, the two taller defenders, will line up on Bruce and Norton, while Nick Vloston will play on a less experienced, younger forward. Vloston would then have more freedom to impact the contest while playing on a lesser opponent using his elite reading of the game to decide when it's in his team's best interest to abandon his own player in order to help his fellow defenders. It's up to the instinct of the intercept player to judge when to stay on their man, whether to create a two-on-one, and risk leaving their man lurking dangerously at the back. If a forward realises that the defender is peeling off and having a greater impact defensively than they are in attack, the solution is for them to sacrifice their own game and run to opposite areas of the play, or move further up the field, drawing the intercept player further away from the ball, and as a result, decreasing their impact on the game. It's important for the other defenders to work with the intercept player. Holding a strong zone that preoccupies the opposition will make it easier for interceptors to come over the top, and covering the interceptor's man could give them the peace of mind to impact the contest more often. When intercept players are dominating the back line, it can in turn dictate how the opposition plays further afield. Teams will refrain from kicking long to the contest, where they're outnumbered, and instead may opt for shorter chips up the ground, or to break the zone with run and carry. When used correctly, the loose man can be the difference between the two sides, and is a key reason why a natural ability to read the play is such a highly sought after aspect of any defender's game. If you would like an area of AFL Explained, please leave your request in the comments below.